guys, it's me, Alana. Um, so I think I'm gonna try and edit this uh, first week of, or this first half of the Sailor Moonathon vlog. Um, I'm doing very bad with vlogging this. I'm so sorry. Uh, I actually thought I had vlogged at the beginning of this, and I didn't. Um, I guess my camera didn't record. And so I literally, which is kind of funny because I spent like 10 minutes talking to my camera and it wasn't even filming. So that's funny. Um, so this is kind of like my intro for this vlog. Um, I don't know how far I'm going to get with it because again, I've been really doing a really bad job of keeping up. But hopefully I can get enough footage to put something together. So this is me just warning you guys beforehand. But, um, I started on May 1st, um, I think that day I listened to some of the audiobook for The Sun is Also a Star, so we'll see footage of that. And then I think I did a good job of it, updating you guys the rest of the time, so I'm not going to explain much more or talk much more, but I just wanted to give you guys that warning. <laughs> So I listened to a little bit of The Sun is Also a Star on audiobook and um, then I met up with a friend and we went to Ulta and I got some stuff and now, well actually I'll just show you what, guys what I got. I got um, some stuff that I've been looking for for a while so I got this blackhead uh, extractor or like they're like blackhead tweezers um i've been looking for these for like a while and i think they're really cool so i wanted to get my own pair um they're only 10 bucks at ulta so i thought this was like a pretty good deal to try out and then something i thought was really cool so i um have been like kind of learning more about like makeup and just like what works for my skin tone and like what works for me and what I like and so I've been wa watching like a lot of um, beauty youtubers uh, like trying to decide like what products work best for like me and my skin and um, there's this one product that I saw this one youtuber using and I thought it looked really nice and like I liked the way it looked on her and I thought like it would fit best on me but when um, I went to look at on the Ulta app like the thing was kind of uh, sold out like it I think they like discontinued it or something like that it just they weren't selling it anymore so I was kind of disappointed but as I was leaving um, like getting in line Ulta has those like little like five dollar like jar stand things to get like the really cheap mini stuff and I found it like I found a little like bottle of it and I was like oh my gosh this is so happy I just want the little bottle anyways because like this is my first time using it so I don't want to spend like a hell of a lot on it and it was only eight dollars I got this uh banana powder it's like a I think it's like a like a finishing like baking powder kind of thing um and I like there's like a bigger version of it that like Ulta was sold out of and so I'm I'm really happy that like I was able to find this so yeah today was a good day um 
So now I'm kind of just sitting around. Um, I have to go do some stuff at like seven with some friends. Um, but until then, I'll probably hang out and read um, some more. So I will keep you guys updated. Hey guys, it is me, Alana. <laughs> Um, it is day two of Sailor Moonathon. It is currently two o'clock. <laughs> um, I didn't really wake up till 10 and I kind of just laid in bed. Um, I did read a little bit. I read a little bit of The Sun is Also a Star. Um, I read a couple more pages of that and then I took a break to watch some booktube videos. Um, I think that my plan is to read like start one more book today as i'm also reading the sun is also a star and we'll see how that works um for the most part it's been like a really chill day i am just now kind of like getting ready and, and just like doing my makeup and stuff i don't have anything to do today i'm meeting with someone at like six but i got a really long time before then so i'm kind of just like chilling um, I'm either going to start Clockwork Prince today or um, I might continue on with the Gallagher Girls series that is for the challenge of my favorite book. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, I will keep you guys updated later. Hey guys, it is me. Um, I'm gonna be doing my makeup while talking. So excuse me if I'm not looking directly at the camera this whole time. Um, this is day three of Sailor Moonathon. And yeah, this is just me. I'm just gonna update you guys on, I guess, everything that's, that I've done so far. Um, I finished. The sun is also a star this morning, and I gave that a four. Out, oops, I gave that um, a four out of five stars, and um, it was pretty good. It was my first Nicola Yoon book. I actually own Everything Everything. I just haven't read it yet, um, just because I just haven't gotten around to it. So um, I think it was it was pretty good for my first book from her. Um, Overall, like I liked Natasha and I loved, um, what is his name? I can't think of his name right now. Um, well, overall, I loved Natasha and, um, I can't remember the, the guy's name right now, but I loved him too. I thought it was really sweet. Um, watching them, like, go back and forth and, like, fall in love, and I thought it was really cute how, like, different yet similar they were, like, they both had, like, similar feelings towards, like, their parents and stuff like that, but, like, their personalities were so similar, for, were so, like, different, like, Natasha loved, um, she loves science and she loves like talking about science and like she's super smart and just like doesn't believe in um dreaming and stuff like that and then you have the guy and he's the complete opposite like he loves to dream he doesn't really know what he wants to do with his life but he right now really enjoys writing poetry and it's something that he just like wants to pursue until I guess he finds another passion and he believes in like love and first sight and he believes in um 
like following your dreams and like not really letting the world control like who you are and what you do with your life and I just I loved it so much because the fact that like they didn't let their differences like come between them or make it like weird like he accepted her like for all of her opinions like it was adorable reading his perspective because whenever she would say something that like he didn't really necessarily agree with instead of being like oh uh, like this is weird because she doesn't believe the same thing I do he like instead like accepts it and he's just like it makes her more beautiful that like she has these opinions and I I love that I wish like honestly more people were like that in the world because I feel like there would maybe be a lot more tolerance and um, less like hate in general at least that would be my hope I have no idea um, so that was like the one thing I love I like gave it four stars just because the whole like alternate reality idea that the book was like exploring didn't really make sense to me like <laughs> like stuff like that always goes over my head but also like I just I didn't care like I like, if that makes sense like I cared about the characters and the story and what was happening but I didn't care about the the idea of this alternate world and the idea of like the things like yeah like I liked the idea that they did explore like your actions do like affect other people like um, the choices you make will later on ha play into like could play into other people's lives like depending on what these choices are so like I definitely appreciated that like exploration of that idea but like I just didn't find it necessarily interesting um, and I liked that like the chapters were split up into different perspectives and like there were even like there were just like random perspectives that you weren't expecting to get that kind of explained um deeper things that they talked about in the chapters beforehand so i did appreciate that because it like gave you like another understanding of what was happening um it like surprised me at first because i wasn't un i like didn't was not expecting that like i didn't really know what to expect when reading this book but i um definitely appreciate it um I, I definitely appreciate it later on reading the book and yeah so those were my thoughts I guess um overall about it